Welcome to a Rosicrucian Communion in the House of the Holy Spirit. This recording was produced specifically for the Rosicrucian Tradition website at pansophers.com. It is also part of the Rosequa Oratory, Contemplative Resources for the Rosicrucian Tradition, and I am C.R. Chuck Dunning, Jr., an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. These audio recordings are focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of Rosicrucianism. Persons who are not initiates in that tradition are welcome to make use of these recordings, but may find them referencing ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without complete explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to practice those methods and enter those states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. This meditation facilitates spiritual communion with the Holy Spirit and all souls inspired by the Rose Cross. It is especially fitting to practice it on Day C as noted in the Third Agreement of the Order of the Rose Cross according to the Fama Fraternitatis. Day C is typically regarded as an annual day, but sources disagree about which day it is. We here propose that Day C may also be regarded as the monthly recurrence of the first lunar crescent, hence the C. For convenience, it can be marked on our calendars as the first day after the new moon. Now, if you have not already done so, Take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions is almost always part of the meditative experience. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice in itself. Now, settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight, with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Closing your eyes is recommended. However, if you prefer not to close them, then allow your eyes to relax and steadily gaze upon some point directly in front of you. If you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, Hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, 
exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Attend to the sensation of the Earth's gravity pulling down on your body. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, chest, and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, around your mouth, and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp, on the top of your head, around the sides and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation.
Now feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet through every organ and cell. If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. you can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm as you continue silently repeating in, out. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. As stated in the Fama Fraternitatis, our building, although 100,000 people had very near seen and beheld the same, shall forever remain untouched, undestroyed, and hidden from the godless world, under the shadow of thy wings, O God. Imagine before you an arched stone portal in which hangs a silky black veil bearing the image of a rose cross. For a moment, just look upon this veiled portal and the image of the rose cross to see it as clearly as possible, sensing its profound depths of meaning and power. Now pass through the veil into a beautiful natural landscape in the darkness before dawn. To your left, up in the indigo sky, shines the lovely crescent of the newly waxing moon surrounded by twinkling stars, planets, and galaxies. Imagine a cool magnetic energy 
radiating onto you from the moon. Know that you are not alone and feel about you the spirits of countless others who have come here by the path of the Rose Cross. Lovingly recall some of the names and faces of those you regard as companions on this path. Let us join together in highest unity, greatest secrecy, and most kindness one towards another. We shall do so by intoning harmonia from our hearts, either silently or aloud. During the intonations, allow the imagery to dissolve into a limitless expanse of invisible yet energetic pure spirit. After a while, my voice will return to continue guiding the meditation. Until then, simply sit in wordless knowledge that your soul is communing with others in the Holy Spirit. If you become distracted, return to a silent intonation of harmonia as much or as little as needed.
as you hear the following words. Allow the image of the pre-dawn landscape to return around you. Wisdom, said Solomon, is to us an infinite treasure, for she is the breath of the power of God and a pure influence that flows from the glory of the Almighty. She is the brightness of eternal light and an undefiled mirror of the majesty of God and an image of his goodness. She teaches us soberness and prudence, righteousness and strength. She understands the subtlety of words and solution of dark sentences. She foreknows signs and wonders and what shall happen in time to come. Now look to your right within the landscape and know it is fitting that before the rising of the sun there should appear and break forth aurora or some clearness or divine light in the sky. As that light appears, you also see to your right an ancient natural stone altar. On the altar rests a large book. Approach the altar, bow, and then kneel. If you wish to receive some particular guidance from the Holy Spirit through this book, then take a moment to formulate your question in a prayerful attitude. If you do not wish to seek an inspiration in this way, then simply wait, communing with divine wisdom and knowing that other souls may be seeking guidance at this time and giving them your spiritual support. Take a moment now to prayerfully form your question or lend your support. If you are seeking guidance, then open the book, look upon the page to which you have turned, making note of whatever appears in response to your request. It may be something simple or complex, familiar or strange, changing or unchanging, or it may be nothing at all. In any case, take a moment to attend to it so you can recall and consider it further after this communion is completed. Now close the book and offer a prayer of thanks. Whatever your choice at the altar, you now look to the horizon in front of you and see the golden disk of the sun partially risen above the earth. Feel its warmth on your face and chest, reaching into your heart as you hear these words from the chemical wedding. There is nothing better here below than beauteous, noble love, whereby we like to God do grow, and none to grief do move. Wherefore, let's chant it to the King, that all the sea thereof may ring. We question, answer you. 
What was it that at first us made? It was love. And what hath grace afresh conveyed? It is love. Whence was't, pray tell us, we were born? Of love. How came we then again forlorn? Without love. Who was it, say, that us conceived? It was love. Who suckled, nursed, and relieved? It was love. What is it we to our parents owe? It is love. What do they, us, such kindness show? Of love. Who gathers in the victory? It is love. Can love by search obtain it be? By love. How may someone good works perform? Through love. Who into one can two transform? It is love. Then let our song sound until its echo rebound to love's honor and praise. For a moment, remain at the altar in communion with the Holy Spirit and all souls inspired by the Rose Cross, wishing each of them more of the beauty and warmth of life, light, and love. Now stand at the altar, bow, and then turn to your right to go back to the arched stone portal. See the black veil bearing the rose cross. And then step through, allowing all the imagery to disappear behind you as you once again become aware of your physical body. Our building, although 100,000 people had very near seen and beheld the same, shall forever remain untouched, undestroyed, and hidden from the godless world under the shadow of thy wings, O God. Now let go of the imagery and begin ending the meditation by attending to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into your seat and your feet against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell and taste what you taste. When you are ready, take a deep breath Open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Having completed the activity, it is highly recommended that you take a few minutes to reflect on your experience perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings, and how they might differ from before you began the activity. To what extent were you able to relax and follow instructions with full awareness? What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful, and why? How might repeated use of this activity, with or without the recording, be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? 
Thank you for participating in this Rosicrucian communion in the house of the Holy Spirit. Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Rosicrucian tradition, then please visit pansofers.com. For more recordings like this one, you are welcome to visit the Rosequa Oratory playlist at the Contemplative Builder YouTube channel. Until next time, life, light, and love to you.